Lung cancer is a very common disease. It is one of the top three cancers diagnosed within the United States and the most common cause of cancer-related death in both the United States and also throughout the world. Lung cancer is a disease in which the cells within the lung just grow too much and invade the other tissues and spread to other parts of the body. So lung cancer is a cancer that starts in the lung and has a high likelihood of spreading to other places in the body. Smoking is the main cause uh, of lung cancer, but about 10% of people who get lung cancer are never smokers. Uh, and among those never smokers, there are a variety of things that are known to cause lung cancer. But in any one individual, it's impossible to say exactly why they got lung cancer if they're a non-smoker. Uh, so things such as secondhand smoke. So if you live with somebody who smokes and you have a lot of exposure to tobacco, that can increase your risk of lung cancer. Um, occupational exposures such as asbestos uh, or hydrocarbon gases can increase the risk of lung cancer. Um, radon uh, can increase the risk of lung cancer. Radon is a gas that is found in some basements. The symptoms that are most common are things like cough, shortness of breath, coughing up blood, um, fatigue. But the biggest issue and biggest difficulty in diagnosing lung cancer is that it occurs primarily in smokers, and many smokers have these kinds of symptoms all the time. So when the symptoms gradually get worse, they don't necessarily notice it terribly uh, well. And it takes a while for them to present to their physician, takes a while for the diagnosis to be made, and at that point the disease is more advanced. Lung cancer is a disease that is most often diagnosed in the advanced stages, meaning that people already have spread to either lymph nodes in their chest or to other places in their body, such as the brain, the liver, the bones, and about 40% of people with lung cancer come in with spread to another place in the body. And we can do CAT scans of the chest to look for early signs of lung cancer, small nodules within the lungs. And with CAT scan screening, we know that we can identify lung cancers at an earlier stage where most people who have lung cancer diagnosed by CAT scan screening have stage one lung cancer, the earliest stage of lung cancer. And with that, have a much better chance of being cured of that disease. So we have to focus our efforts on individuals who are between the ages of 55 and 75 and who have smoked what we call at least 30 pack years. And that means one pack a day for 30 years. So for people who come in with the earliest stages of lung cancer, stage one or two disease that are really confined to the lung or the lymph nodes within the lung, then surgery is by far the best option. Uh, and with surgery, most people will be cured of the disease in that situation. Our thoracic surgeons have expertise in a number of advanced techniques that are relatively new and relatively non-invasive or minimally invasive. So utilizing scopes with uh, video-assisted thoracoscopic surgery or even robotic thoracic thoracoscopic surgery. For people who come in with a more advanced type of lung cancer involving the lymph nodes in the chest um, along with a tumor within the lung, then chemotherapy, drugs we give to try and kill cancer cells, along with radiation therapy, an x-ray beam aimed at the tumor and any spread within the chest, the combination of those two treatments does afford people a chance for cure. Unfortunately, that chance for cure occurs in less than half of people with those stages of disease. For people who have spread of the disease beyond the chest to other areas of the body, then the primary treatment is with chemotherapy, or nowadays chemotherapy-like drugs, some of these newer smart drugs or molecularly targeted drugs that affect specific mutations within the tumor cells. At the University of Michigan, we have a multidisciplinary lung cancer clinic in which thoracic surgeons, radiation oncologists, medical oncologists, and pulmonary doctors all work together in order to, to provide optimal care to people with lung cancer. Lung cancer is the biggest uh, cancer-related health problem in the United States right now. If we look at the number of people who die of lung cancer every year and compare that to, say, breast cancer or prostate cancer, you can actually add up all of the people who die from breast cancer, prostate cancer, and colon cancer, which are the next three highest uh, cancer killers, and they don't 
add up to the number of people who die of lung cancer every year. So lung cancer is by far the biggest public health problem related to cancer in the United States right now.